On Friday, the 23rd of February, it was revealed that Dmitry Medvedev, the deputy chairman of the Security Council of the Russian Federation, has described Russia's plans for repressions against Ukrainian citizens in the occupied territories of Ukraine and the FSB, the Russian Security Service, as it is called, conducted uh, searches in the Jehovah's Witnesses community, again, in occupied Mariupol. Now, Medvedev said that Ukrainian citizens in the occupied territory of Ukraine who harm Russia should be exposed and be punished, sent to Siberia for re-education in forced labor camps, with which, of course, these are practices reminiscent of the Soviet Union era. And the Russian official noted that the exemplar, exemplary trials and repressions of the Stalinist era starting in the 1920s and the 1930s were also aimed at saboteurs who were considered to be harmful for the state, especially in the agricultural sector. Now, the analysts noted that Medvedev's use of the Stalinist era rhetoric about purges is quite telling of the new era that has dawned on the newly Ukraine-occupied territories and the expansion of the persecution of Jehovah's Witness outside Russia, where they are already under ban. Yevgeny Balitsky, the Kremlin-appointed head of occupied part of Zaporizhia Oblast, has also openly discussed and attempted to defend Russia's illegal occupation policy. He justified the forced deportation of Ukrainian citizens who oppose Russia's invasion of Ukraine and even hinted at executions of Ukrainian citizens by Russian occupation forces. In addition, Russia continues to extend its state policy of systemic, systematic religious persecution in occupied parts of Ukraine. So on 22nd of February, Denis Pushilin, the Kremlin-appointed puppet leader of the so-called Donetsk, Donetsk People's Republic, which is not recognized and it is self-proclaimed uh, a quasi-state formation in Donetsk Oblast, posted photos supposedly showing the FSB. Uh, and Roskovardia searching the offices of Jehovah's Witnesses community in occupied Mariupol in uh, Ukraine, Donetsk Oblast. So Pushilin claimed that Russian authorities seized more than 5,000 books from the office. And in 2017, Russia banned, as we know, the Jehovah's Witnesses as an extremist organization. And Russian authorities have persecuted Jehovah's Witnesses and other religious minorities in Russia and Ukraine now alike. Since uh, Russia continues to export its, its state policies on systematic, systemic religious persecution to occupy Ukraine, the question for the Jehovah's Witnesses leadership, which is based in the United States, is how far they will go to protect their members, or will they follow the same uh, obstinate stance of defiance that Judge Rutherford back in the 30s portrayed with a very well not hated figure and led to thousands of Jehovah's Witnesses in Germany in castration camps and the loss of many lives. Judging from recent statements from the new Watchtower uh, spokesman Jared Lopes, he said, Jehovah's Witnesses are neither surprised nor intimidated by Russia's systematic persecution. It is well known documented in the history of Russia, as well as other lands that the Jehovah's Witnesses faith has always outlasted the persecuting regime. We expect history to repeat itself. While such statements put in danger many innocent Jehovah's Witnesses in both Russia and Ukraine and shows that the Woodstower neither care or uh, pays attention. Just, they just simply use the lives of their followers as cannon fodder for PR grandstanding and appeasement of the European Union's stance against the Russian bear. So, uh, how far Russia will go in Ukraine to persecute Jehovah's Witnesses? Only time will tell. But one thing is for sure, the way the Watchtower is grandstanding against the uh, Russian Federation is not going to help anyone. And it's definitely not going to help from the many Jehovah's Witnesses, brothers and sisters, that they will end up in Siberian concentration camps. So let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, you can always check this um, uh, link and the article below on my website, jwupdates.com. Thanks for listening to me, guys. And I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you.